just in general in preseason week one, um, not necessarily out, necessarily out of the starters then, but like what what backup players or what little smaller roles do you think people should keep an eye on? Like in my opinion, I, I love what I've seen out of Roshan Johnson all throughout. Camp. I'm so excited to see him hit the field at NFL speed in a real game and just kind of just kind of take a look at what he looks like in pads with the ball in his hands, ready to go. You know, who uh, anybody on your radar that you're excited to see? I mean, generally speaking, our biggest concern overall this off season is depth and preseason is a great opportunity to see some depth. And uh, I know that we're going to see a lot of rookies. So Jervon Dexter, for sure. I'm ecstatic to see uh, Tyreek Stevenson. Very excited to see because we're going to see at least a quarter out of these guys. That's awesome. Um, I'm very excited to see a lot of the O-line depth because for Ryan Poles and for us particularly, we really are good at and enjoy watching trench warfare, right? So we like seeing defensive tackles and technique and how offensive line pick up blitzes and all that stuff. And you're not going to see much of it in the post in the preseason, but uh, I'm very excited to see a lot of that. I don't really care what I see out of Justin Fields, if I'm being honest, because it's week one of the preseason. If he throws two for five, for 40 yards and he's just pulled I'm I don't care and at the same time if he if he throws five for five for 100 yards and a touchdown to DJ Moore people are going to freak out but I'm not going to freak out do you remember uh last year last preseason game it was against the Browns and Fields had like three touchdowns and yes. So going into week the one, there was talking so about much him. hype going yeah. into week one. And then we came out and, and against San Francisco. I know it was terrible weather conditions and whatnot, but I called you at halftime, I remember. And I believe I said, this has been the worst half of football I, I think I've ever seen. Yeah. Um, they I remember were doing that Browns so game. bad. But yeah, the preseason, they looked fantastic. <laughs> yeah, that Browns game, I remember, I forget who was on the broadcast specifically, but it was, I think, a Fox broadcast, and they were talking about how, wow, this looks so much like Patrick Mahomes talking about Justin Fields. And it's just yeah. – it's what you get out of a preseason game. It's to be expected. It's not surprising. Um, but for what I actually will – the only real things you can dig out of a preseason game, and especially week one of a preseason game, is I'm looking for rookies to perform. Javon Dexter, Roshan Johnson, Tyreek Stevenson uh, – Zach Pickens, I want to see some depth play. I want to see uh, what they keep talking about as coaching, which is, you know, just collapsing the pocket from the inside, creating chaos, seeing if these guys actually have it. They're not starters, so I want to see it. I want to see some cornerback depth. Um, from what I've heard in the training camps, you know, that went from a, a area of weakness to an area of strength. I want to see cornerback depth. Uh, backup safety is always interesting. The quarterback battle, P.J. Walker versus really yeah. anyone, Nathan Peterman, I want to see who's going to get the backup job. So I'm really looking at backups in depth because we all love the frontline names on this team right now, and that's what's exciting about this team. But it, somebody's going to inevitably get hurt, and I want to see who steps up in like week one, week two of the preseason and just shows that they're a depth player. Offensive right. line for me is – if I'm going to watch anything closely week one, it's going to be offensive line. For sure. Nice. nice.